Hey, so you have a game idea? Yes, sir, and I think you're gonna love it. Well, you did not get out of the park with that Mario fellow. I mean, who knew that a plumber saving a princess was gonna take off like that? Well, I was thinking about a young hero that's going off to rescue a princess that has been captured by the great evil of the land. And this hero, is he like a like an electrician or something? N uh, n no. He... Gardener? Road worker? Does he ship freight? Why would he? Is he forklift certified what? No, he's just a young hero that is going out to save the princess who was captured by a great evil who has taken over the land. So he's not a tradesman. No, he's just a young hero. He's not quite a knight yet, but in many ways he's kind of the surrogate for you. Really, you are filling the shoes of this nameless hero who's going out to challenge a great evil and face massive uncertainty in a world unknown. Oh, uh, wow, um, that's pretty heavy. Yes, sir, I definitely wanted to add some weight to your quest when you're out here trying to vanquish this great evil that has taken over the land. So this great terror, is he like some kind of like dark knight or some kind of tyrant of unfathomable power? He's a pig. A pig. Yeah, a little, little piggy pig pig. What the fuck? Oh, I mean, he's like a magical pig. He has a spear and a cape. Uh, you know, he like, I don't know, maybe he like turn into bats or something. Sure, so how does this adventure start? You just... Pop into the world and off you go. Off you go. Yeah, you can go north, south, east, west. I mean, you could go into the cave that's on the first screen. So you can go anywhere you want. Like, there's no sense of urgency. Like, which direction takes you to the nearest pig wizard? Yeah, yeah, but you'll, you'll probably want to go into the cave first. And what if you don't go in the cave? Eh, you'll probably die. I mean, you won't have any weapons or anything, so... So, we're actually just giving players the illusion of choice? We are giving them the illusion of choice. Okay, so what's in this cave? Some kind of trials that maybe like uh, explore the lore of the world, maybe gear you up for everything you're gonna need to uh, save the princess? Nah, it's an old man. An old man, like a sage who's gonna uh, warn you of the great perils and, and tell you how to ex explore the land? Yeah, kinda. Kinda. Well, he just says it's dangerous to go alone, take this, and he hands you a sword. He just gives a kid a sword. Well, I mean, it is dangerous to go alone. Does he even know this kid? He's just like some homeless vagrant who lives in a cave handing out swords to children? I mean, no explanation. It's just, here you go, kid, don't die. Well, he doesn't say don't die. Oh, even better. Anyway, now that you have the sword, you can slash at monsters, and if your health is full, you can even shoot lasers at them. Why can you shoot lasers when your health is full? And before you know it, you're off to your first dungeon. Okay, hey, that's neat. Hey, so what's the first dungeon called? It's called the Eagle, because it's shaped like an eagle. That checks out. So at the end of the first dungeon, will you fight like a giant bird or something? No, a dragon. Well, that seems like a missed opportunity. And at the end, you get a piece of the sacred Triforce. Oh, what's that? It's a magical power that you need to defeat Ganon. You're actually going to be completing the piece of the Triforce known as the Piece of Wisdom. So I guess the Triforce is broken into, uh, what, what, three pieces? Eight, actually. Of course. So what else do these dungeons do to, to challenge you on your quest? Oh, lots of complicated puzzles. Like what? Kill all the stuff in a room, or push a block left, or light a candle. Wow, sounds engaging. Well, it's the monsters you gotta watch out for. They've actually stolen keys that you need to open up all the doors in the dungeon. Like, what kind of monsters are we talking here? Keys. I know what you're trying to get, but what are the monsters that are keeping them from you? The keys. Yeah, I get it. Oh, <laughs> oh no, the monsters are called keys. Well, that's confusing. What are they? Bats. Why not call them bats? Or literally... Anything else? Yeah. What else is there? Well, sometimes you have to fight snakes called rope. Uh, you could be fighting uh, wizards. Uh, they're called whiz robes. Um, and sometimes you'll be fighting uh, these giant hands that fall down from uh, from the ceiling. And what are they called? Ceiling palms? I mean, everything's like named after what they look like or what they're wearing. Wall masters. What? But like I said, there are eight pieces to the Triforce of Wisdom, so you have to complete eight dungeons. Okay, so how do you get to these dungeons? Oh, most of them, you just kind of walk right in. I mean, they're just kind of scattered all over Hyrule. Most? Yeah, I mean, some of them require you to get, like, an item from a previous dungeon, like a raft to go over to, like, an island, or maybe a bracelet that can help you lift a giant rock. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I mean, it kind of gives you, like, a sense of progression, you know, a sense of, of kind of evolution throughout the story. Yeah, and one dungeon's gonna be under a bush that you just gotta light on fire with the candle. Okay, and how do you know to do that? You just gotta do it, you know, test the waters. Have you burned any bushes before this point? Oh god, no, we don't want like activists on our case. So how would you know to- And after you beat the eight dungeons, it's time to go up to the top of Death Mountain and put an end to Ganon's evil reign. The pig wizard? Oh yeah, and he's actually armed with the Triforce of Power. Ah dang, I'd imagine you want the Triforce of Power over the Triforce of Wisdom. I mean, it's like a, like a jock beating up a nerd. That is exactly what it's like. 
So how do you beat this sorcerer with the MacGuffin of power? Well, he flies around and uh, shoots magic at you and you just kind of you know, slash him with your sword. A demon king wizard pig who flies around shooting fireballs is beaten just by a regular old sword. Well, it was dangerous to go alone. And after a couple of hits, you shoot him with an arrow and he explodes and you get the Triforce of Power. Like you even needed it. Then you can go save the princess. And is she holding the last piece of the Triforce? The what? The last piece of the Triforce, you know, like power, wisdom, and whatever else. Why would there be another piece of the Triforce? Because it's called the Triforce, and so far we only have two pieces. So? There are only two pieces. Then it's more like the Die Force. And then you and the princess hold up the two pieces of the Triforce and you are praised as the hero. Well, besides some of the nonsensical enemy names and this whole Triforce debacle, I mean, this game sounds pretty good. What do you think about naming it? The Legend of Zelda. I thought you were supposed to be representing the player. Your name is Zelda? No, the princess's name is Zelda. Your name is canonically Link. My initial statement stands, but also, why would we be naming the game after, like, a character you only see at the very last screen of it? I mean, wouldn't this game be better named, like, The Adventure of Link? I mean, like, that's who you are playing the whole time. This is Link's story. Eh, meh, nah, it won't be confusing. And what if in the future we decide to make a game where you play as the princess? I mean, what are we going to call that one? The Legend of Link? Eh, there probably won't be a game where you play as Zelda. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, thank you so much for watching this newest episode of Game Pitch. They are so fun to make. Um, but hey, as always, if you guys haven't, please subscribe. It'd be awesome. Uh, like, leave a comment down below of what kind of games you want me to do next for Game Pitch. Uh, but as always, my friends, take it easy.